All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be going over, once again, mole fraction and mole percent uh, involving uh, partial pressures. Uh, believe it or not, there is a relationship between mole fractions and mole percents uh, dealing with partial pressures. And this is what this states, that the molar fraction of a particular gas is equal to the uh, partial pressure of the gas that you're looking at divided by its total. So let's go ahead and do a calculation involving one of these type problems. Okay, and this is in chapter 10. Um, I think, yeah, 10, chapter 10, section 10.5 in the notes. And uh, this is unit 4 material. Anyway, here's the problem that we're going to be looking at. Let me go ahead and bring up the webcam. All right, here it says, what is the mole fraction and the mole percent of oxygen in exhaled air if the partial pressure of oxygen, which is the O2, the P, the partial pressure of O2, is 760 torr? And they then tell us that the total pressure is 1,116 torr. Well, let's go ahead and get this uh, started. Um, well, we know this, uh, partial, partial pressure of a gas, which in this case is going to be uh, our O2, <coughs> we'll put this here, is going to be equal to basically the 760 that we see, which is, this is for the oxygen. Now they put a decimal here just to make sure that we have three sig figs. I always thought that was cheesy that they do that, but they do that. Tor and they tell us the total, which the total is going to go on the bottom, is 1,116 tor as well. Now, all that we need to do is divide these two numbers. Okay, so we need a little calculator. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys, still sick. Um, all that we have to do is take the 760 and divide it by the 1,116. Okay, so we hit enter and we get that number. Now we need three sig figs because that's what they tried to make cheesy, you know. Anyway, they're being cheap there. But anyway, three sig figs will be 0 0.68 and well, obviously 1. Now this is our mole fraction. for our answer. Now if you want the mole percent of this, swing the decimal two times to the right, you'll get 68.1 percent. And there's your mole percent of your answer. Yes folks, it is that easy. <laughs> I know. Well, I wish the other videos could be this short guys and this simple. But anyway, uh, just watch it again and look over the problem and work as many of these as you can and get plenty of practice. All right, guys. Hope that helped. Oh, time for the credits.